God, you know, I have actually been waiting for this one. See, I knew that me minding my own damn business wasn't actually good enough for this person, and the drama that they reiterated into my life actually was pretty shit the first time, so I decided it's time for me to actually come forward and say something about it. Oh yes, guys, we're finally addressing the Google document. A lot of you are probably confused and were not from that era. Well, I'll explain it to you. A collective bunch of women from my early teens, which was like 18, 19, going on 20, were not very happy with me as a person. Instead of handling it like actual people, they decided to try to frame me as a pedophile for circumstances they can't prove, claiming various things they actually can't prove, and using my own words against me due to the fact that I'm a notorious troll who will say anything and do anything on top of making fun of jokes and making fun of pedophilia on a daily basis. You guys might not find it funny, but we have a dark sense of humor in this group, and my group can vouch that a lot of this stuff is just not true. We have people from the same era as these people that can vouch for what was going on, how it was going on, and I'm going to debunk it right here and now. We're going to preference this with me apologizing for the things I did do. Guys, I'll be honest with you. I am white as fucking paper. I am surrounded by people of color as my majority of the friend group, and due to that cause... It was made to seem like it was okay for me to say slurs and stuff that I'm not allowed to say. For example, hard R, hard A, stuff that I no longer do. I was not a very good teen. Keep in mind, a lot of these events come from when I was 19 years old. Now, I know that's not an excuse for my behavior, and it cost me zero dollars to say the N-word. That is not who I am anymore. It's not what I do. From that time period, it was an entirely different fucking time for me. I didn't care about political correctness. I didn't care about covering my own ass. I cared about trying to say the most offensive shit possible and then paying the price for it later. That is what truly matters about this, is that you guys are trying to cancel me for something that happened almost five years ago. And it might not seem like a long time, but guys, I turn 24 next month. It is a very long fucking time. I'm not the same person I was in a lot of these screenshots, and this person's trying to push a narrative that is no longer true about me. And the pedophilia and child groomer thing? 100% just fabricated nonsense that's being pushed by this person, their friends, and friends of their friends to try to make me look bad in the most valuable way possible. I will also preference this by saying that the account that is targeting me is trying to use my real face, my likeness, and everything like that, and I'm aware that it's publicly out there, but it is completely disrespectful to me and the people I work with to try to out me like this and in this manner. In fact, they're trying to DM and target anybody I've worked with in the past and have the audacity to try to contact them to cause more drama. Guys, I'm a grown-ass man. I don't have time to be picking fights with a 17-year-old, but by golly, I will punch down. I do not give a fuck. We're going to start with the most obvious one. A lot of these take place in 2018. And the dates match up with 2018. However, the account that I'm using currently on Discord was actually the first one I actually used. I actually didn't go back and delete it because it was just one of those that sat there when me and Andy first migrated to Discord. If you would like to fact check that information, please contact Anbone. His at will be in the description. Second off, a lot of those screenshots don't have obvious fucking timestamps on them. Some of them say 2018, other ones say today at this time, or today in this time or take place on other devices. Not to mention that any of these fucking screenshots could have been impersonated using inspect element or any kind of Java coding. Shit, you could have photoshopped it for free. Everything about the Discord interface is open source. It is not that hard to go on your browser and inspect element it. As for stuff on other devices, I can literally change my name and icon to whatever I please. I can impersonate anybody in my audience right now. I could impersonate Markiplier and go on a tangent rampage ranting about Islam and people could believe it. You know why? Because it's super easy to impersonate people on Discord. As for any of the RP stuff that was real with Bunny, uh, the first thing is, Bunny didn't tell anybody their fucking age up until a certain point. And as well as the DM where it was included, there really wasn't much context to any of that stuff given, but if you guys didn't know, we used to be a part of a really cringe RP roleplay server. Now, was that server inherently sexual? Not really. Did I make a lot of fucked up jokes because I'm a piece of shit? Yes. But everything was on limits. We could joke about anything. Everything. I literally was saying the N-word at the time. Yes. Terrible person. That's not who I am anymore. Maybe that's because I'm in a committed relationship with a black woman named Bailey, and she's the love of my life, but that's a different story for another time. I didn't want to disclose that information, but I had to have some explanation for why I suddenly decided to stop saying racial slurs. It's almost like having a person that understood the sensitivity of the situation instead of my friends, which condoned it and allowed me to do it, instead of actually fact-checking me into, you know, understanding that I'm saying terrible things, 
it quickly changed, and I quickly changed, and learned to grow as a person. It's almost like people aren't the same people they are at 18 and 19 years old. Ain't that fucking crazy? On another note, if you want to look at the thread down below, if it's not been reported for misinformation, which I did report for misinformation, because that is literally what it is. In the report, there is a screenshot claiming that I have actual child pornography. And it's crazy, because if Bunny screenshotted that, and was censoring it herself, or if somebody censored it, that means somebody involved in this is in possession of child pornography. Congrats, guys. You guys are fucking stupid. Guys, it doesn't matter if you're doing an expose on somebody on Twitter for brownie points pretending that you're a victim. That is actual CP. And if it's not CP, then you're just a fucking liar who is claiming that I own child pornography, and that's illegal. You cannot fucking slander somebody like that. As for a majority of other stuff inside the Google document, a lot of it is just disprovable. He said, she said. You cannot prove that it was me behind the screen. You can take testaments of me out of context, or take me being a troll and lying on my own behalf, but that is not genuinely what happened. It is unfair and untrue to claim those things. You could probably say I was a fucking idiot for trying to troll during the documentation of that piece of work, but honestly, I didn't know any better. I mean, they're claiming stuff from accounts that no longer exist, from a past that I'm no longer a part of, on a part of the internet that I just entered when I turned 19. I was not in any way a very smart person. I was sheltered at a very young age, and it was a part of who I was. I've just now started becoming a functioning, breathing, living adult who is actually existing within the parameters of society. And the fact that somebody would go out of their way to deceive and lie and pretend that I am sexually attracted to children, yet again, is disgusting. You guys need to seek professional help. The worst part is, is the inconsistency of their evidence and the way that they're portraying themselves. If you read the way they're typing and the way that they're talking, this person is not bent on getting justice for anyone. They're just very angry at me. They're angry that I am still succeeding. They tried this back in 2021 when the pandemic was first starting with a bunch of other YouTubers trying to back their ass and it did not work for anyone. That evidence was indefinitive. I wasn't being serious enough to actually testify to anything. I was lying through my teeth about a majority of different things just so they'd leave me alone. I was not in any way, shape, or form trying to incriminate myself, but I did a damn good job of doing it because I was just so sick and tired of being involved in drama, especially with these fucking people. They randomly pop out of nowhere trying to grind me for internet points or trying to make me look bad or ruin my career. I hate to break it to you guys, no matter how many times you falsely come forward trying to claim that you're a victim of me in some way, shape, or form, in any regard that wasn't me being racially insensitive or partially transphobic back in the day, I'm sorry, I'm not going to fucking give into it. I'm not leaving my platform. I'm not going to stop being a VTuber. I'm not going to stop being a YouTuber. You can go fuck yourself. This isn't even the first time that Bunny and anybody associated with her has tried to use my platform for hate. For fuck's sake, I'm pretty sure that they were the ones that roped for no good reason and a bunch of other YouTubers that talk about this kind of drama into it. And as much as I want to be hateful towards them and have my negative opinions about his content, I don't want to solely blame for no good reason. He was only platforming what he thought was victims. But these victims have been caught up in so much webs of lies and deceit that they can't even get their fucking story straight. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if they do allege that a lot of this stuff is true, they should have been reporting it to the police, not trying to cancel me on Twitter. That is red flag number one. Red flag number two is privately reaching out to any creator I've ever worked with, trying to get them to block me, rather than actually trying to paint yourself as a victim and show that I did something bad to you. If I haven't made it very clear, this is actually run by a person named Bunny. Their Twitter account is something I've also blocked and called out, and there's a lot of people on my server that's also had a negative fucking impact with these people. The fact that they've already admitted to lying about their age means that they're super easy about lying. The fact that they lied about their age again in Ayoyoki's DMs, saying that they were 13 and they're now 16, makes no fucking sense. Because in the Google document, they said they were 12, and now they're saying that they're 17? I hate to break it to you, your math is all over the fucking place. Either that, or I might have misread it. Shame on me. But I know that in Ayoyoki's DMs, you said you were 13, and now you're 16. It's been five years. You were not fucking 16. 
You need to stop trying to lie to people. On another note, you are trying to use other people's evidence that clearly nobody bought into to try to also out me. I hate to break it to you, but if any of the evidence in that Google document was actually 100% authentic and something that the police could go over and try to get me for, the police would be at my door. I'd be arrested. I'm not arrested. I was never talked to by any police officers other than the ones that I talked to trying to find out if I could press charges for the blatant slander and you know, misinformation about me. The fact that there are multiple women trying to play this game with me, I don't know what it is about me. I don't know what the fascination is. Yes, I used to be a really shitty person. That is not who I am anymore. I'm not gonna even deny that I did a lot of fucked up shit. But pedophilia, fucking children, and being attracted to children is not one of those things. Did I have a lot of weird RPs going around? Yes. Were they erotic in nature? Not really. No. If you didn't know, She's screenshotting stuff from a server based around family roleplay, not incest roleplay, not rape play, not anything weird. It was just a family and a house because I was going through a rough time IRL and to escape, I would come to my fictional family to deal with it. I know it's fucking cringe, but that's not who I am anymore. That server's defunct. Not only that, but a lot of these screenshots seem to be fake or defunct. I wish I could tell you 100% if they were, but I do not remember being this fucking weird for one, and for two, I can't prove the fucking date because a lot of them just say today, as in this day, as in right now, when in reality, I don't think that's the fucking case. I think that you couldn't find any proper fucking evidence, so you manufactured it by having somebody else in cahoots with you do it, or you used inspect element because you're fucking cringe. As for your fucking evidence, I see a lot of screenshots of weird and uncomfortable scenarios. I see a lot of me fucking up as a human being, saying slurs, saying stuff about rape, and yes, dark sense of humor. The rape jokes? I don't really give a fuck about that. You guys are here for two things. Me being a racist, allegedly, and on top of that, pedophilia. Yeah, I used to make a lot of fucked up jokes, and yes, I used to say the n-word. I still make fucked up jokes. I don't say the n-word. I have been a rational, normal human being outside of the internet for a very long time now, and I'm not trying to break that record. I understand a lot of what I'm saying isn't definitive, and it goes back on a lot of random shit that I might have said out of context or genuinely, and it's really easy to frame me as a predator, but I can vouch on behalf of my community, the people that know me, and the people that work with me. I am not a predatorial person. I do not take advantage of people. What I used to do in my youth, where I was an ignorant asshole who would spout random nonsense to be as offensive as possible, is not who I am anymore. I was never a predator. I was never a groomer. I was never a pedophile. And people can stop trying to propagate this. Because as for Bunny, if she's going to continue trying to propagate this, make an entire account dedicated to me, I will go through the right resources and take down any kind of content I need to through a legal court of law. I don't want to be that guy that tries to, like, strice and defect the fucking document, try to get it taken down, try to get people to share it, try to get people to fucking get upset about it, because I try to strike it. I'm not Brent Rivera. However, it is blatant misinformation. They keep claiming that I sexually took advantage of them, but there's no screenshots that I sexually took advantage of them. If it's not baseless, out-of-context screenshots, if it's not fabricated evidence, if it's not just a blatant attack on my character, trying to go as far as possible to make me look bad, even reaching out to people who aren't even remotely involved in the situation to try to get them involved in the situation, is awful. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because not only are people not buying this shit if they actually truly know me as a person, you're scaring people out of trying to collaborate with me, out of trying to work with me, and I refuse to let that happen. If anybody is dumb enough to buy into this, I'm sorry, I don't want to work with you. And I'm, I know that sounds harsh, but I can't be surrounded by people who will take something like this, where somebody will make a call-out post with no fucking merit to it, and then suddenly believe it is real. I can't take this lightly anymore. This shit fucked me up. I went to therapy over this. I developed an anxiety disorder over people like this, who would randomly come out of their way to try to fuck me up because I used to be a terrible fucking troll who said a lot of shitty things. I promise you on my life, I have never been so stressed out before in my life during the time period that these bad actors confronted a bunch of YouTubers and those YouTubers milked me for views. It was insanely disrespectful. I didn't feel like being involved. My dog literally passed away through the middle of it and I was just done. 
I know using the death of my dog isn't a very valid excuse, but guys, it literally passed away from brain cancer halfway through trying to address for no good reasons video. I was done. I will say this wholeheartedly 100%. I don't know if it's an avenue I can go down, but I will be looking into legal action because stuff like this should not be taken lightly. And if you guys really want to see the validity of any of these claims, please, let's see how they hold up in a court of law because I'm willing to bet a court of law isn't going to stand here and buy any of this shit. Because I'm certainly not buying it. My community is certainly not buying it. Heck, half the people, maybe one or two of them, are concerned. But they're not buying it either. This is fully out of context. It's weird. It's strange. But to claim anything in the screenshots was genuine pedophilia, to claim that I was owning CP and you have screenshots of child pornography, that makes you look bad. The entire fucking twit longer makes you look bad. You try so hard to paint yourself as a victim, but in the last few paragraphs, you come across as a real piece of shit. You want to use your quote-unquote struggle, this made-up struggle about roleplay, as a way to victimize yourself. I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. For anything that was in there, that might have been considered weird. For anything that might perchance be real, because I, I'll be honest with you, some of it's fabricated, some of it could be caught out of context shit, I genuinely couldn't tell you, because it was that fucking long ago. We're talking, like, four to five years ago, guys. But for the stuff that is in there, I think Pyrocynical said it best. This stuff isn't real. It was stupid, it was funny at the time, but it wasn't funny now. It was strange, it was weird. It's not pedophilic. It's not me being attracted to children. There's nothing in there about me directly talking about them as if I'm attracted to them because of their fucking age. Heck, there's nothing in these screenshots showing that I even knew about their age. I might have said otherwise, but I'll be honest with you, I don't fucking remember. I don't have the memory to remember this shit. And anything I've said previously, trolling about it, or claiming I knew, I'm sorry, that was me talking out of my ass. I genuinely couldn't have told you. I wanted to seem like I was on top of my game. I was trying to do anything to get out of this fucking shit. Because I didn't see a winning light. I, if I told the truth, which I'm doing now, there's always going to be people that don't fucking believe me. So, I tried to wing it. I tried to play it off as if it was no fucking big deal, and it didn't work out for me. Who would have thought that me not telling the fucking truth would have not worked out for me? So here's the fucking truth. Anything that would have happened back in the day, it's not fucking real. That is my that, that is my go-to. It is not real. And even if it was, I never went out of my way to RP with anybody under the age of 18. If they happened to be under age of 18, they most likely lied about their age. Because anything that I did with anybody was consensual of my age, my age group. And I am very firm against that as a person that's been a victim of sexual abuse in his childhood. I, I fucking check now. I didn't know then because I didn't even know that I was a victim until like up until like a year ago when I started talking about it with an actual therapist and it was fucked up. But that was then. This is now. As for the validity of their claims, I can 100% say I'm not racist, okay? I am sorry for using the N-word. I will full 100% say that I was an ignorant little asshole, a stupid little white kid who didn't know any better. I did not know the strength of that word. I didn't know it was harming people. If I knew, I wouldn't have done it. The fact that it took me so long to know shows how fucking stupid I am. I will 100% admit that. I will apologize for being a bigot. It's just not who I am anymore. By all means, if you don't want to work with me because of it, that is completely your choice. But there's going to be creators who do not give a shit about that. And anybody that gets contacted by these people should understand that it is under malicious and false pretenses. And they should be ashamed, and I'm so sorry that you had to be subjected to that. As for the validity of the Google Doc, aside from Bunny's new quote-unquote accusations that totally weren't recycled garbage from years ago, I will openly say that a lot of the people that were involved in the Google Doc situation have since then pulled out and came back to our community, realizing that it was a bunch of fucking bullshit, including, but not limited to, Strider, Mythical, Anbone, Ducko, Crusader, and a lot more people, including Angelo and Radio. You know, it's funny because our friend Radio recalls actually having a really abusive, toxic relationship with the people behind the document, not for no good reason than the YouTubers, the girls who wrote the document, treated him like absolute fucking garbage. They didn't actually care if I actually was involved in any pedophilic act. They were just using people to try to get any information they could on me, and the moment they stopped being useful, they threw them to the fucking curb. 
Who would have thought that people that were after something, pretending that I was the predator, were actually being predatory themselves, granted not in a sexual manner like they were claiming against me, but it was still wrong of them to do that. As to wrap this up here, because I do not want to waste any more time than I actually need to on this subject, uh, suck my dick, bunny. You're not gonna get what you want from me. I'm done apologizing and pretending that anything that I did back then was a reflection of who I was gonna be for the rest of my life, like fucking hello, as if me at 19 was who I am now. You are the fucking weirdo. It has been five years, and you are just now trying to come out against this, trying to get some brownie points on Twitter. You are not a victim. You are a piece of shit, is what you are. Not to be egotistical at all, because it's not something I want to fucking flex, but there's people like Bunny who sit there obsessed with my server, my community, and everything that I fucking do, and the fact that they try to swoop in at the last second to try to do something. I hate to break it to you, Bunny. It doesn't matter what you or anybody else says, I'm not giving up my platform. I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. You can go fuck yourself. You can claim I raped you 10 million fucking times. I do not care at this point. You have been proven time and time again with your own inconsistencies and your own story that you are clearly lying, deceiving, and trying to use this to get fucking leverage against me because you don't like me. If not, you're probably doing it for attention because that's the kind of person you were. You are always an attention-seeking whore. It doesn't matter what age you were, I will proudly say, you are an attention-seeking whore. You need to seek professional help. You need to stop going on the internet trying to pick fights with me because you were upset that you lied about your own age on Discord years ago and then got kicked out of the community because of it. Not only that, but claiming a lot of horrendous shit and then getting mixed up with terrible people like Mar and Zane and everybody else that was involved in that stupid fucking document that I should have sued for on day one. I should have swallowed my fucking pride, got over the death of my dog, and I should have went through with the legal restitution to go after all of you. You guys are so fucking lucky that I didn't, because I'm willing to bet that even if y'all were broke to a single penny, it would fuck you up pretty badly to get sued by somebody for lying and deceiving a fuck ton of people. As for those who supported me through this, and my community who knows better, and knew this person, and knew that it was a lie, I'd also like to thank the people that watched to the end of this right here to actually give me a chance at actually defending myself. Even if you're not a person that's been here before or knows my drama, it is my duty as a content creator to one, defend myself against false accusations, and two, make sure that other people aren't falling victim to this woman, because you know how it is. When somebody targets somebody over something so simplistic like this, she's probably done it time and time again. She started with somebody that was super innocent and not involved, which her name was Ayayoki, who can vouch that she was almost thrown into the middle of this. Ayayoki wants nothing to do with this person. She wants nothing to do with this drama, but she still came to me, told me what they were trying to do, and I prepared ahead of time, because this person has once again been a pain in the ass for me, my community, and everybody in it. We are so sick and tired of people from a past that is no longer valid, a place that was no longer a part of who we were. We went through, we grew as people, we changed. We even apologized to the appropriate people, you know, the ones we actually hurt and damaged. I'm sorry if Bunny was offended or upset by what I used to say. I shouldn't have been saying the N-word, I should have been more responsible, but that is not something I can go back and undo. I can't fix that, you know? I could donate to a million fucking charities uh, for African Americans, and it would not fix it. All I can tell you is I am sorry, I no longer say the word, and I will act more responsibly as an adult, because I was 19 years old and didn't know what I was doing. To put it bluntly so nobody can twist my words against me, this all adds up to, I have not erotically roleplayed with this person, I am not in possession of CP, and I have no aim or sexual preference towards underage girls or people that are younger than me. I prefer women my own age, and I will always prefer women my own age. You know why? Because unlike Bunny, they might actually grow up to have some common sense, while I grow up to be a complete fucking dumbass. I am turning 24 next month. I was 19 when this happened. I would like to move on with my life because that moment in my life does not define who I am. I can understand that there are people hurt by it, but time heals all wounds. And even if I negatively affected you with the racism, the sexism, the transphobia, ableism, anything that I did as a complete fucking tool and troll, that is not who I am anymore. I have become a civil, gen generally like just all around okay person. And I'm proud to say that because I go out of my way 
to be such a kind and understanding individual to all my friends. And that's what really matters. This video is mainly just to vent my frustrations because they already know that this shit isn't true. They literally sat there, read through this thread, and if they actually thought that it was true, why the fuck would they still be supporting me? Nobody wants to be a pedo supporter, but this isn't pedophilia. This is blatant, misleading slander, and I aim anybody that sees it to report it as such, because that's what it is. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, any drama channels out there that want to report on this, you're free to. I don't have anything to hide. Uh, yes, I do report it as false information. There's probably not going to be any comments or ratings on this video, because this is more of like, just me trying to get my own start statement out there, like a true, genuine statement, because I'll be honest with you, anything that was associated with For No Good Reason and that group of YouTubers was just me blowing hot air, because I genuinely did not want to deal with it. I was not in a place to deal with that problem, and I thought that if I waited, it was going to get worse. I was facing a lot of harassment, and I didn't know what to fucking do. A lot of this might feel like a blanketed statement, and I'm completely okay with it feeling like a blanketed statement, but I'll be honest with you, I don't want to have to spend more time on this than I actually have to, okay? Because outside of if it's going to try to incriminate me, or if a police officer might see it and actually think it's real, because that is what I'm more concerned about, I really couldn't care what anybody else thinks about me. I'm not here to hear you guys debate about me being cancelled on Twitter because I used to say the n-word. I'm not here to listen to you guys but debate over me at the age of 19. At the end of the day, if any of what the screenshots were showing were true, in any kind of capacity, even if they were, even if they're not, I will say this. It is not fucking real. Roleplay. You are playing a role. It is not me genuinely being sexually attracted to anything or anyone. It's the idea of a woman in general. Because I was fucking lonely. I can't help it that Bunny wasn't being very honest with their age, but I can help it that I was just a lonely fuck who was trying to have a family because I didn't feel like the family I had IRL very much connected to me. I've connected with them better in recent years, but it didn't feel genuine back then. And I was just isolated. I was alone. I didn't know how to feel the way I feel now. But now that I've opened up to that possibility, I never really needed that before. So, case closed. Leave me the fuck alone about some roleplay shit from when I was 19. That is not an accurate representation of who I am as a human being right now. That is unfair and completely biased. But by all means, if it's 100% true and she is willing to take it to a court of law, uh, I will tell you this. Bunny is 16 going on 17. When you turn 18, you have up to five years to sue me. So if you really truly think that what you said holds up in a court of law, by all means, take me to court. Take me to a court of law. I don't care how you do it. I don't care why. Because if you don't do it, I'm probably going to do it. Just you wait that turn. Keep that fucking energy. You want to keep lying about it. Let's see how you hold up in a court of law. It's not a threat. It is a promise. I am so sick of your empty-headed threats and you trying to reach out to people behind the scenes and you commenting weird cryptic shit on other things. It is fucking disgusting. It is annoying. You are a fucking nuisance at best and I am tired of dealing with you. That's why I'm releasing this video now because your false accusations are going to die in two weeks anyway and then people are going to go back to not fucking caring. You can try all you want to try to push this narrative, but the people that truly know me and stand by me and the people that consume my content, they know the fucking difference. They can tell when people are being dishonest. And even if you try to frame it at your fucking hardest, it's still so fucking undefinitive that why do you even try it? Why are you trying so hard to push this narrative? It baffles me. It actually fucking confuses me to a point where it's almost comical. But I'm so fucking angry that I still have to deal with this almost four years later that it's like why even laugh about it why even try to deal with it it's just fucking annoying anyways uh last thing there's a unlisted video in the description where i talked more about this uh it was some ventation trying to get this off my mind because i've been dealing with this for a while i sat on this topic for a while and i will openly address it and talk about it as many times as i fucking need to uh i'm not looking to be used as more content from other drama channels so I, I can't really stop them, but I would kindly ask that anybody that actually wants the truth or some justice for anybody involved, if they actually truly believe that that woman is a victim, they're free to DM me, anybody involved in the server, that server's creation, that time period, because my memory isn't very good. So if you want to fact check the story, why not come ask some people that actually knew me and Bunny at the time of that fucking thing, not her biased little friends we're just going to reiterate that everything she says is true. Come talk to some people that will actually challenge this statement and prove her wrong. If you're not going to reach out to me or the people involved in my server, 
then why even report on this story in the first place? Why try to push this fucking narrative? The final statement on this entire topic, and I know I keep saying that, but this is my genuine final statement for anybody that is confused or involved. If you don't want to be involved, don't be involved because there's no fucking crime committed here. They are alleging a crime, but they can't prove that a crime was alleged. I am innocent until proven guilty. So by all means, Bunny, document makers, anybody that was involved in the drama from three years ago, take it to a court of law, sue my ass, and win, or it didn't happen. Get me arrested under the charges that you are alleging, or it did not happen. If the police aren't buying your story, why the fuck would a bunch of random people online, on Twitter, or on YouTube, validate your story any more than the actual fucking law would? Yes, I know the people always play the law and the police as like a bunch of like no good hacks who can't do anything, but I hate to break it to you, I trust their judgment a lot more than some random anime profile picture on Twitter that just randomly alleges someone's a pedophile because they weren't getting any fucking views on their fucking Twitter account. Like, come on, before this you had like, what, 40 followers and you were talking about Aiden Ross's situation? Like, go back to picking on something that nobody cares about. Because I certainly couldn't give a fuck here. And this is the last time I'm going to make a statement on any kind of shit like this. If you come at me talking about this shit or alleging that I fuck children, I'm just going to block you. I'm done. I don't have the energy to argue with you fucking idiots online anymore. For those that actually believe me, thank you for giving me the chance to actually defend myself. Thank you for actually listening to me. But I'd rather not delve into this shit again. It gave me a fucking disorder. And I can't fucking mentally contain how fucking mad it makes me. It makes me want to throw a family of four into a ditch and set it on fire. That is how angry I am. At the end of the day, my community has my back, my friends aren't leaving, all my co-workers love me, and you can go fuck yourself to any and all that wants to come at me with this bullshit again. Go fuck yourself. Leave me the fuck alone. Good night, everybody.